Hello everyone, this is Chris and welcome again to my another video tutorial. Now today I'm going to show you how you can render your slideshow presentation using ProShow Producer. Okay, I'm going to be explaining to you what are the best settings that you can choose for you to render and make um, the final video output for your slideshow presentation. Now before we begin, just to um, let you know that I have a video tutorial before this, okay, prior to this one, and that explains how you can add a photo like this here, and then also how to add effects, okay? You can click the description down below, okay, just in case that you wanted to review what I've um, uh, done in the previous tutorial. As you can see here, I have one, two, three, four slides, okay, and four of them has a different photos on it. And as we play the video, you will see that four of them has their own slide effects. So let's play it. Alright, so it's a very good um, presentation. Now, um, one thing before we, you know, export this um, project, let's just go ahead and make some additional effects on this video slideshow, okay? So you uh, notice here in this first slide, there is um, an indication that 3.0, this is an indication that this slide will only gonna show three seconds duration. You can also change that um, according to what you desire. Maybe if you wanted to make it um, around five or up, depending on, you know, what do you like? You also see this one over here. This is actually a transition seconds, okay? So from one slide to another slide, so you see here that it has only one second. Now, if you wanted to change that, you can just simply click it and then make it three seconds. You can also like click this one over here and drag it like that so that you will see the preview of how the transition will look like. You can also change the transition effect by clicking this A, B because this, um, this is a default. You can ch change that by clicking the A, B just once. Okay, one click and then um, you will see here Okay, there is a lot of transition effect that you can choose from and just to set your expectation that um, if you install this brochure producer some of the this effect may not be available on your um, brochure producer that is because some of this transition I have here is an additional plugin meaning I have installed it separately okay now um as you can see here also on the left hand side of the screen you will see here all the categories of the type of transition that I can use and you can see that there I have a total of 843 total number of transitions so that's a massive amount of transition I can choose from but to make it easier for me to navigate I can just simply you know select some of this category now at the moment I am on transition pack one so from pack one I have 68 so I can choose here so for example I'm gonna use this 3d drift right if, you, if I click on that you will also see here on the top how it looks like when transition from one slide to another I can also click maybe this one here the clouds effect see that I can also click this clapboard revolve see that if you're happy with that effect you can just simply click apply and now as you click apply it also changes the icon over here that indicates that you've selected this type of transition effect you can also change the one over here 
And as you notice that here on the bottom side of this dialog box, these are the transition that I have used, you know, in my previous um, slideshow presentation. So these are the recent effects that I've used. So I like this one, so I'm gonna click it. And let's see a preview. Look at that. See that lightning flare going on? Okay, and this one over here, let's change it. Maybe this one, I love this as well. Look at that. See, so beautiful. Now, like I said, you can um, change the duration of your slideshow um, by clicking this option over here. You can change it to three. You can also, um, you know, change the duration here, maybe one or two, depending on what you desire. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and preview this re um, this slideshow and let's see what it looks like. It's just so amazing. I love it. Okay, now um, if you are happy with everything you see, we can now export or render the slideshow. And by doing that, all you need to do is to click this here option on the top right hand side of your screen, the button that says publish. If you click on that, the user interface will change to a different um, position. Now here on the top, you will see a variety of options that you can choose on how you're going to extract or export your video. But in my case, what I normally do just to make it easier for me and for me to have my own copy of my video, I always choose this option here, video. But if you, you know, wanted to upload it immediately, like straightforward, you can choose this YouTube. Or Facebook but of course if you click one of these it will ask you first to log into your um, YouTube or Facebook account before you can start uploading but in my case I always love clicking this video option here if I click on that this dialog box will open and it will ask me what type of video format normally I use 1080p full HD okay or sometimes if the video is not really that important and it's just only for you know for viewing purposes so I use the 720p you can also play around with other um, format here down below but in my case I I'm okay with 1080p now also here on the bottom you will see another option that says um, profile so it says here 30 frame per seconds high quality it's really up to you if you wanted to have a 30 frames per second which is you know most standard um, video but you can also increase that up to 60 frame rate per second okay or 50 frame rate um, and of course um, by choosing that the render may take a little bit longer than the usual because the system will try to push the rendering to your desire but in my case I always I'm happy with 30 frame per second okay and um, after that you can just simply click on create now another dialog box will open and it will ask you where you're gonna save the file now me in my case I always do saving it to desktop because for me to easily find it and then later I'm gonna put it on the on a folder so I'm gonna name it testing. All right, and um, just leave the save as type as MP4, and then just click on save. Now you will see here another another dialog box that will show you the rendering time. Okay. Now, like I said, the rendering time may 
vary depending on the speed of on your computer or CPU. Now my computer only uses Ryzen 3 CPU. As you can see here, I have only four cores running, but um, it's pretty much okay. I am a type of person that is patient and um, I can wait. I can have some coffee while you know rendering the video. Now once it's completed, it, you, you will be um, seeing this uh, message that the video encoding is complete and just simply click OK. And then let's go to um, desktop and um, let's see the video. Where is that? I name it testing. There you go. Here it is. Let's play this. Alright, so as you can see, the video is really looks stunning and I'm happy with it. Now, it is ready to be uploaded on YouTube or Facebook and whatever it, the purpose it may, you know, maybe um, serve you. So, um, I think that's it. That's how you export your video using ProShow Producer and I hope um, you've enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe and see you again in my other, in the next tutorial. Thank you and goodbye.